What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another What's the Trick Sunday. I guess we'll do this on Sundays. Today we're talking about palindromes, but first I gotta show you the card trick. Get some of this middle school magic out of my system, you know? So, what we got here is a ten of hearts and a deck of cards. So I'll take this ten of hearts, let's go ahead and bend it. There. And so we'll take it, we'll put it on the top of the deck. Okay, put that on the top of the deck. We'll take this card off, and then we'll slide it, I don't know, in the maybe upper Right there, that looks good. So let's slide that in there. Okay. Now, if you watch closely, we can make it come to the top. So let's see. There it goes, up to the top, just like that. If I pull this off here, it should be a 10 of hearts. I need to check. Yes, it is in fact the 10 of hearts. So that means I did this correct. So today's video is a palindrome. If you don't know what a palindrome is, that is a word that is spelled the same going forward as it is going backwards. So for example, we take this word race car right here and then we flip it around, it still says race car. Then flip it back, it still says race car. So that is what is, that, that's what a palindrome is. Now, why am I talking about this? Because this is a really common whiteboard question. You'll go into an interview and they'll be like, please write a function that checks to see if a word is a palindrome. The fundamental concepts that they're checking here are, you know, if else concepts, you know, certain object methods that are just you know, built in JavaScript by default, such as split, reverse, and join. We'll, we'll, those are the methods we're gonna be using to solve it here. Um, so the if else thing is important, the writing a function um, that takes a argument and then runs it through something. And then if you really wanna get advanced, you can make it a ternary operator and really shorten it down, which we're gonna do all that in this video. Um, it's, I know it's cheesy, I know it's simple, but I've already gotten messages from the other one saying, they quizzed me on FizzBuzz when I went to the interview. I passed it because I watched your video. I know they're simple, but they can catch you off guard and you can kind of get in your head about it. So these videos are designed to prevent that. And we'll keep doing these every Sunday and I'll just keep picking something and we'll start off simple and then we'll move into more advanced stuff and then I'll backtrack into previous stuff. So I'd love to know what you guys think or want to see me do next. Go ahead and leave a comment in the description down below or shoot me an email, join the Discord, link for the Discord in the description below. I will welcome you. I have a Patreon, you can check it out if you want. People are supporting the channel and I really appreciate what you guys are doing. As part of the perks, I must shout out the people's names. So thank you Martin Fee and Vlaslo. I appreciate all the support and everyone else who has supported the channel. I'm slowly working to do this full time. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this problem. All right, so now that you know what a palindrome is, we need a function that checks to see if whatever word they give you is a palindrome. So to start that, we need to make a function first. So I'm gonna use this, just a little pre-build function. It has some parameters. The parameters is what you give the function as a variable. So we're gonna call that word. I'm gonna name the function checker. Word, okay. And so first of all, we need to check to see, uh, first of all, we need to see what the word looks like reversed. So let's create a variable. And let's make that the word reversed. So how do we reverse the word here? So let me show you in the clear console what that would look like. So if I just do hi equals hello, just like this, and then I do hi dot split. So give it a little argument here. Uh, this is an empty string. And what this says is split this out, convert it to an array, and go to every single character here and split it out. Let me show you what that looks like. It looks like that. Hello. Every single character is now split out. So now we have it split out, but we need to reverse the letters to, to see what that looks like backwards to see if it matches. So let's reverse the letters. This will only work on an array. So if I do hi dot reverse like this, it's not going to work. So we need to make, we need to do it all in one or convert that to an array. So let's just do it all in one. You can do multiple methods in a row like this. So hi dot split. And then again, we're splitting it by just every single character, which is what empty means. Um, you could split it by whatever you choose, but this is what empty means. Just goes It means go character by character. And then we'll reverse it here. And you don't give reverse anything. It doesn't, doesn't need anything. Just reverses whatever you have in the array. Uh, reverses the order of it or the, the index. Yeah. It just, it just reverses the order of it. So then, show you what that looks like. It looks like Olay, pretty much. Okay, great, but now it's still in an array, so how do you get that out of an array? Okay, well, let's come back. It needs one more method here. It's called join, and then a join does take an argument of empty, empty, uh, empty string, just like that. So the same thing, we're splitting it by an empty string, 
And so you can imagine, so this, this is separating hello out by each character, then this does the opposite, split and join, so it joins it back by each character. Show what that looks like, ole. But hi, the variable hi is not converted to, so if I type hi, it's still set to be hello. So this is the method that we need to use for the palindrome. Let's come up here, let's do um, split, and then again, empty string, reverse, and then we need to join it again by an empty string. And then we have the word. So we need to check if the word is equal to the palindrome, because that's what happens. When you reverse the word, is it equal? So we make an if statement, and then we check to see if it's the palindrome. So are they equal? After you take the word that you give it, and you split it and reverse it and join it back together, is it, wor is it equal to the original word that you've given it? So. We have an if statement, let's make some new lines. Um, and then if it is equal, we want to console log true. And then we'll have an else statement here. Where we'll do console log false. So let's take this, copy it. Let's go to here, let's clear out the console. I'll paste it in there. So we're pasting the, the function in here to define it. So now we have to run it. Do checker, hello. So we know hello says ole backwards, so it's not a palindrome. It doesn't make any sense. It should say false. Instead, it says word.split. So what that means is that I spelled that wrong. And I still spelled it wrong. So now let me copy and paste it again here. So dot split is not a function, right? It is, it's not a function because that's not, that's not a method built in JavaScript. So these ones up here are just built in the browser, built in JavaScript, the window object methods as they're known. So let's try it again. After I fix my spelling error, great. Checker, hello. Console is not defined. Okay, all right, so this looks fantastic for me. Change these low, uh, uppercase consoles to lowercase consoles. Let's come back down. Clear it again. Here. Redefine it. Now it says false. Finally, we're there. It says false. So what about one that would make sense? So race car. Now it says true. Fantastic. Now there's a shorter way to write this known as using ternary operators. Um, and to do that, I can show you how that works. Well, we still want the same statements, but we don't want all this spacing and you know, readability. So we do this. This says word equal to palindrome. So it, question mark, is it is it true? Yes. And here, and then come over here, and then we do a colon, and we put whatever the else statement would be over here. So now we just cleared up a whole bunch of space. That's all on one line. Let's highlight this, let's redefine the function again here, and then let's paste it. Go ahead, okay. Now let's come back to race car. Oh, it says true. So let me show you how to read this one more time. This says, this says you think of this question mark here as actually um, being here. So is the word, is the parameter word equal to the variable palindrome. Is it? If it is, go ahead and put true. Else, which is this colon, go ahead and put false. Now this, the point of this is to check to make sure that you know about these methods here, split, reverse, join, and then how you would need to use these, you know, uh, parameter or arguments here. So it's called a parameter up here when you're defining the function, but when you're giving a function something, they're called arguments. Um, but it's checking that you know that these methods exist. It's checking your if-else logic. And then they might say, well, how could you optimize that? Well, now, suddenly, you're using ternary operators, which puts an if statement basically all on one line. Now, I prefer readability, so I would control Z this back to the if statement just so that I can read from top down. But if you want to optimize and remove some white spaces in your code, which is going to happen when it gets minified anyways, you can do it like this. So that's it for this one. I know it's a little bit longer than the other one. I hope this was helpful. I know it seems silly. It might seem easy if you already know how to do it.
but I've been asked it like at least three or four times now. Maybe you, you have a better way to do it. I know someone out there is going to watch this video and they're going to be like, well, why didn't you do this? Or you could have done this or you didn't have to do this. Yes, I understand that. But these are aimed at beginners, people looking for jobs. Um, and I hope they help. So I'll keep doing this series for as long as you guys keep watching and I'll keep coming up with common questions that I find or things that I've been asked for you guys. Um, if you do have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. Join the Discord. Link's in the description. Shoot me an email if you want. So I think that's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.